Ladies and gentlemen, Dobre dan, Kakoste. It's Charles here, and I, I finally uh, got around to getting these uh, videos uploaded for the Palestinian Culture Day that was held here in Belgrade uh, about a month and a half ago, actually. Uh, so it, it was a great, great time. My buddy, uh, Sharar, the president of the student, Palestinian student diaspora here in Serbia, uh, he, he gave me an invitation there. and. Uh, I went and sat beautiful place. It was held at Kako uh, Sekaje, uh, Hala Pioneer, the cultural center there. Beautiful. They had a big crowd. Uh, it was in the, the big stage. They had some Serbian dancers uh, doing the kolo, and they had the Algerian or the <laughs> Algerian, the Palestinian dancers there. Uh, and, and they did a lot of little things there at the very end. They got together and they did this beautiful little dance together. The, the, the Palestinians. Uh, joined the Serbian dancers to do the kolo, and then the Serbian dancers joined the Palestinians to do their dance. Really, really nice. They had some music at the end, waving the Serbian and Palestinian flags. Very, very nice. And I compiled this little video, uh, little sequence here, just so you could get a taste of kind of what went on, what the two different cultures look like, and how they formed uh, together there at the end. I thought it was beautiful. Uh, and so, you know, the Palestinians and, and the Serbians have a great, great history, uh, great friendly history between the two nations, and hopefully that will continue. And uh, that's really about it. So if you have any questions, comments, uh, or anything, leave me a message. My, my buddy Sharar, like I said, and I were planning this big convention, uh, conference actually, in, in August uh, about propaganda, you know how him being from Palestine, me being from the United States, we can meet and sit and discuss topics and, and become friends doing it, you know. And, and we want to bring these people together here in the Balkans. That's a big problem. Uh, there's lots of distrust and, and, and things like that. And propaganda is a huge, huge issue here in this world. You know, every single government has their own twist and spin that they like to put on the media. And, and my country is one of the worst about that. It's really, really sad. For instance, just, just two days ago uh, in Hebron, Palestine, where my friend is actually from, uh, the Israelis, they came in there and detained, they, they surrounded the town, they detained over 150 Palestinian youth uh, and different folks. Uh, because of an, ab an abduction, a supposed abduction of three uh, Jewish teenagers. Uh, so just the kind of stuff that goes, when you read on CNN kind of what happens, that the blame is always shoved on one particular person and that's how they want it, you know. There's never open dialogue to give both sides fair play. It's always one-sided. And it, it's sad. And, and when you come from a country, a lot of times you don't realize that you're being fed lots of this propaganda and you're, you're being fed a one-sided media view uh, of a situation, you know. When you don't live in the United States, for instance, myself, living in Mexico for about a year and six months and living here in Serbia off and on now for about three years, a little over three years, you know, you, you get a see, you get a better taste of, of what media is here and what's going into the United States and, and, and you you see that there's a, a balance, there's a different, there's two sides to every single story. Uh, and the only side that I, I, I received on Serbia prior to coming here was the media view from, from the United States of America, which is totally different than what I've seen here in Serbia and I've heard here in Serbia. Uh, I'm not saying that the United States, all of it is incorrect, and I'm not saying all of Serbia is, is correct, but there needs to be a fine line in between. Okay, and that's all I'm asking you to do is maybe open your mind just a little bit and just, just shut your mouth, talk to the other guy, and you might learn something and you might become friends, man. Anyway, take a look at this beautiful video and I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you. Salam alaikum. Do Virginia. <laughs> Kada bih dodirnu do mene srca, jer ne mogu stati bez molitve tvoje, pa vrati se iz djetinstva, pa vrati me u gnezu za tvoje dobro. Hvala. Sada ću da recitujem pesmu odnosno.
وجد زريشة عابر في كلام عابر أيها المارون بين الكلمات العابرة أحمد